I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. So, all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. We want no cowards in our camp. In our camp. The Bible says what's going on right now has always happened before, man. Our oppressor has always used rich and famous men to lead the people astray. You know why? Because the people are impressionable. Our kids are impressionable. Look at Megan. Cardi B came out and she did that little thing. She did the little sound. And now you got little five-year-old girls talking about old Kurt and all that garbage. You know why? Because our people are impressionable, man. Our people follow what the famous and the rich do. And the oppressor understands that, so what do they do? They get the famous men and the rich men and the people that we look up to to push us to our destruction. That's why they feed all that garbage to us, man. All the lyrics of us murdering each other. Black men making songs about positivity does never sell. It never sells. Everybody said that's weak, that's whack. You know why? Because we've been conditioned to love murder, murder, kill, kill. Our own people. If somebody made a song about black men murdering white people right now, it would not sell. You know why? Because he'd be like, our own people would be like, that's that's outrageous. That is so violent. How can you talk like that? That's not right. Meanwhile, I didn't mean to shoot him. Meanwhile, he murdered us for 400 years and still counting, man. Still today. We glorify all the things that's bad against us, but we don't see that it's wrong, man. We don't see that it's wrong. Slide, sir. And it's heavy with the brother bringing out because this whole entire white society is to keep you sleep. That's why they're doing all this stuff. You seeing shows with men with dresses on? Right. 20 years ago, 30 years ago, black people weren't having that. Man. We weren't having that. We weren't having a black man talking about murdering his own people or calling the sister a whore. Right. We weren't having that. Black people were against abortion, man. Right. Like, how are you gonna love America and America convinces your woman to murder her baby, man? Right. Everybody always talking about babies are innocent. Then a woman, like a black woman, been convinced by a white woman to say, oh, this is my body. Well, whose body is the baby? Right. If you got a right to do with your body, Right. Well, what rights do the baby have? Right. None. The black woman been the ex executioner in America with that abortion right. thing, man. Right. White man done turned her mind around and think that she can't get a career because she's pregnant. Right. Let me tell you something, sis. There are many women that had five kids and went on back to school and got their degree and got their thing on, that's got right. their career on. So that's just an excuse to murder a baby, man. Right. That's right. Wake up, man. That's a life. That's a black life. And then how the hell are you going to tell us to vote? When you murder off the next generation, right. it don't make no damn sense. If you need, if you want voters, you gotta have the next generation population right. strong enough to vote the person you want in. Right. But you done murdered that generation. Right. Like we backwards, and the white people they laugh at us, but then they turn around and they march with you. Right. Like they with you. White people ain't with you, man. They're not right. gonna, they not gonna let their grandchildren turn over their benefits in America. Right. They're not gonna give your grandchildren what they, their children deserve. You gotta wake up, man. That's right. You gotta wake the hell up. And y'all seeing what's going on. The pandemic, black people rising up. They, they mad with, with Nick Cannon. Anybody know?
know why they mad with Nick Cannon? Anybody. Anybody did a little research? They mad with King Nick Cannon because he said something that was honest. He said the real Jews are black. And the Jews went the hell off. Now, don't we have freedom of religion? All right, sister, you stay strong. Don't the Jews, don't everybody have freedom of religion? Can I be what I want to be? I can't be a Jew. I'm not allowed to be a Jew. Well, I got, hip, I got, I got news for everybody. When you open up this book and you study archaeology, the real biblical Israelites are black. The real biblical Jews are black. I got news for you. This is the secret that everybody been hiding from you for years. That's right. And some of you niggas be like, man, I ain't no Jew. Christ is black. He was a Jew. Right. Everybody know that now that Christ was black and a Jew. That's right. But white people will still try to hold on to that lie and say Jesus, Jesus Christ is a white man. Right. Everybody know he blue. But then you got some niggas that say, well, he's Mr. Uh, uh, Middle Eastern color. What the hell is that? Those were black people in that in that area. A little bit of research, man, will open your eyes, man. That's right. You start to know who you really are. Guess what? You start to really come together. You start to form a brotherhood that the white people can't break. That's right. That's why they. That's why you always crying about. We need to unify. We need to have unity because the white man destroyed your unity. Right. That's why you searching for unity, man. You gotta, you gotta be wise. You gotta open up your eyes. It don't take much. Right. God damn. What white people love you today? Do white cops love you? I guess y'all be like, nah, they don't love us. What makes you think an Irish white man love you? You know what I mean? We'll say that again. Yeah, your super. I know everybody love their white supervisor. Or, or Judy, the Judy that work in one department always want to take you to lunch. You know what I mean? Karen, Susie, Becky, whatever. You know what I mean? We got to wake up, black man. Black man, that's, this is your job to wake up, man. Your job is to wake up and then wake up your sister and raise your children up. That's your job, man. The white man, he divide all that. Why do you think the black woman put you on child support? Right. To divide you from your kids, man. Right. They separate you, man. Come oh, on, man, you know what time it is. That's right. We acting like we don't know, like we sleep. Right. Man, we should give America a, a rude awakening. That's right. That's the only thing that'll shock them if we come together. Talking about protests and coming together, man. What the hell with that? Tulsa, Oklahoma was separate. That's right. And they built the whole city. And when white people found out, they burnt the whole city down. Right. Wake up, man. There's tons of cities like that in Arkansas. Same thing. Black people were thriving after 40 years of slavery, and, and then most of them didn't know how to read or write. But we had unity. Right. So it didn't matter if you knew how to read or write back then. You gotta wake up and go back to this, man. Right. Right. Yeah, General, I had, man. Bring it out absolutely heavy, man. I don't let nobody tell you crack. You know why? Because I never saw you before. But you are a black man like me. And it's worth My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow. Got betrayed, so packed. I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused. About to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road like a sideshow. Need an antidote before I croak. Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues. Call this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom, the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No calling can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.